Well, the College of Information Sciences and Technology is a unique entity nationally. We're a little over 10 years old, started by the state of Pennsylvania in conjunction with the corporate advisory group to produce what we feel is the modern IT professional, somebody with a good foundation in a variety of areas of enterprise technology, a good foundation in business, a lot of real world corporate and government experiences ingrained in the curriculum, uh, particularly at the senior level, and our students do mandatory internships. And our college is unique nationally in that we're not part of a traditional academic silo by design. We're our own standalone college, but within that college we have a very eclectic mix of faculty. We have computer scientists, we have folks from business schools, we have sociologists, we have psychologists, we have attorneys in our faculty. We give our students a good business foundation, a good understanding of organizations, but also a good foundation in a variety of areas of enterprise technology. And that fusion between business and technology is really what organizations of all types are looking for today. If we're not out there closely working with corporations, government entities, and other organizations, we're not going to be out in front on the emerging trends and, and, and the, the evolution in, in these different disciplines. I think the whole relationship with EMC has been uh, unique in many different ways. It started over eight years ago uh, with a representative from EMC visiting our college to see what we're all about. We put together uh, a storage networking course, subsequently has hired a number of students that have taken that course. From there, I got introduced to the EMC Academic Alliance folks. I've contributed uh, quite a bit of thought to the Academic Alliance program. I've published some papers with representatives from EMC presented at different conferences uh, with, with those representatives from the academic uh, unit within EMC. And subsequently, um, e EMC has become a great contributor to our new Center for Enterprise Architecture. They were one of the first corporations to sign on to the center. The Center for Enterprise Architecture is very unique nationally. We are in the process of becoming the first university in the world with a master's degree in enterprise architecture, an undergraduate focus in enterprise architecture, a number of professional development offerings in the field of enterprise architecture, as well as a robust research agenda. The the concept behind the Center for Enterprise Architecture uh, originated a little over three years ago uh, through many of the, the dots that I was connecting in the marketplace. Um, as with many of our faculty, I work closely with industry and government, uh, do consulting work as well. And I've been, uh, over the last several years, I've been hearing more and more of a call for more formalized education at all levels, more formalized research with academia in the area of enterprise architecture. So I took the dots that I had connected at the time to our dean, um, Dr. Hank Foley, and made my business case for the opportunities that I saw for the College of Information Sciences and Technology, and also how in many ways this is a natural evolution for the college from its roots in enterprise integration. So the validating exercise was the creation of a corporate and government advisory group to see if my big ideas would resonate with a broad cross-section of organizations. And for the corporate folks, we required a $15,000 one-time donation, essentially to sit at the table. And if we could do that in the middle of the Great Recession, then we were fairly well validated. So to make a long story short, um, this has exceeded everyone's expectations. We have over 70 organizations now, representatives from seven countries and counting, and uh, almost every week I get a new inquiry from somewhere in the world. Um, so the, the response has just been tremendous. We're producing students that not only understand the technology, but they understand the business implications and the bigger picture behind those technologies for the organization. EMC has been a great contributor to our Center for Enterprise Architecture in a number of different manners. Uh, EMC is the global leader in storage and information management, which is an extremely important component of the enterprise technical architecture. The perspective that the EMC folks have brought to the discussions as we discuss the design of our master's program, undergraduate programs, et cetera, ha has really been a, a great asset to, to us. The topic of storage and information architecture uh, initially does sound rather dry uh, to, to many, uh, but once students understand A, what it is, and then the huge career opportunities in this area, and that there's, there's such a diversity of ways they can go within this particular field, students get very excited. As with most industries today, we face increasing global competition. However, 
what I've seen in other countries, um, particularly India and China, is that the focus tends to be more on producing storage technicians and focusing solely on the technology. We're focused on producing the storage architects, people that not only understand the technology but also understand the business implications of what they're doing and the strategic implications and tend to step back and look at the big picture and, and be able to design enterprise-wide storage infrastructures that work for the organization. There are a number of ways that the students have benefited from the relationship with EMC. A, within the courses themselves, the EMC folks have been wonderful about sending uh, mentors in, into the classroom, virtually, uh, of, of course. So they mentor the teams, they, and through these conversations, they, they learn not only about the technologies involved in the project, but also about what these folks do day to day, and about the many different career opportunities that are available in this space. And I, I think the students have um, gravitated towards the storage and information architecture class because of the career opportunities, not only with EMC, but this is an area of importance for all organizations today. And finding students with some knowledge in this area at an undergraduate level is very, very difficult. So th this course and the relationship with EMC has made our students extremely marketable, extremely unique nationally, and as I said, it's been a win-win for everyone.